It's been a day. It's actually been a couple of days. Jesus. So let's cover off exactly what happened over the last few days and why, do, why I so desperately need this beer. First and most exciting bit of news, I managed to get the radiators back on. These are the original radiators, not the one that I picked up from the wreckers. I managed to basically just flip them backwards, put an extra bracket down to drop them down that couple of inches that was needed. I just needed to make two custom pipes uh, for the inlet and outlet on the radiator and that is done. Um, obviously you still got to test it, make sure it doesn't overheat, maybe put a thermo fan on there. But I'm pretty happy, really. That was a massive win because it was one of those things that was really just bugging me. I didn't know how I was going to fix it. But the thing that's taken a couple of days, wasted a lot of my thought power and time and... Oh, it's just hideous. Seats. So, uh, look, started off this one pretty basically. All I did was cut down a piece of ply uh, that I had sitting around the garage. Uh, I think it's 9mm construction ply. Uh, once I had it to the right shape, uh, just and again, it was just continual shaving it down until it was the right shape. Uh, once I had it to the right shape, I went ahead and coated it in PVA glue, put a layer of fabric over that PVA glue, and some more PVA glue over that. So that's poor man's fiberglass uh, for those that haven't done it before. Basically, it just forms a hard, like plastic like coating. The fabric just gives the PVA something to soak into to water seal it. And then I covered it in more paint. As it just so happens, no, I don't particularly love this color blue, but I actually had matching blue paint in the garage here that perfectly matches the ugly blue vinyl that I chose. So, there you go. I don't know if it's a fluke. Well, it is a fluke. I definitely didn't plan it, but a bit of a win. So, once I'd had the seat base all sealed off so it was waterproof and good to go, uh, it was time to get to the foam. It's like 10 bucks for high density foam from my local uh, foam and rubber place. Thanks Clark Rubber. And uh, all I had to do was cut it. Now for those of you who've tried cutting foam before or maybe you've done this sort of stuff before or do this stuff all the time, uh, it's a bit of a fun endeavour. I tried sharp knives, I tried kitchen knives. Uh, at the end of the day the thing that got for me was superheating a knife with a butane torch uh, and just running slices until it cooled down and then heating it back up again. Uh, and from there, little paint can lid, uh, bunch of holes in it whacked in with a screw and that did the trick for giving me something to shape uh, what my rough cuts from there from but uh, that aside sorry once that was done once I had the rough shape a simple matter of getting the vinyl wrapping it over uh, stapling the hell out of the underside and fitting it to the bike and that looks something like this it looked even worse than it does now so it was back to the drawing board, pulled all the 50 odd staples. I mean, like, look at how many staples I put in this. 50 odd staples, came back out, uh, reshaped the back again here, took a little bit extra off, wrapped it a little bit looser so it just wasn't pulling down on the foam so much, and refitted it. Made up some, and it mounted a lot better this time. Mounted some, or made up some straps so it looked like this. I just don't like it. I really don't. So, uh, my options here are pretty simple. I could shave some more height out of the seat, sort of give it that cafe racer look. Issue with that that I really have uh, is that it'll then not be much foam under my butt and I intend on doing a lot of long distance riding on this bike. So, if I can't do an all day trip on it, I pretty much might as well just go back to the stock seat. And that is where we catch up to now. So, this is the stock seat that we pulled off in episode one. Uh, great thing about it is that it bolts on with two 10 mils at the back here. We sort of fit over there and as we come down it sits over obviously in place of where the tank is in the way of where the tank is but my thinking being if we cut the plastics that sit underneath it sort of along this line that I've just drawn on here uh, fold the rest of the leather back under it the tail section of the seat and the comfy part of the seat 
will all be there. I should be able to make it nicely butt up to that tank and it will look somewhat stock, somewhat custom, kind of cool. I'm really excited about this. I am honestly chomping at the bit to get it done. So, uh, without any further ado, we're going to pull some staples out of it, start cutting down the plastic and get right into it. Um, let's hope we can get this episode tidied up, finished off, get this seat done. That is worthy of my third beer. I'm pretty happy. So, I've still got a little bit of stitch work I guess to do. I'll probably lock the front off of this bit of foam that sits inside and bring it down to perfect that mount at the front. It bolts on at the rear. It just looks nice. I'm just super happy with it. So, in other news, not going to become an upholsterer. I do not enjoy making seats. Uh, I do not enjoy messing around with them, and I hate the foam that just gets everywhere. Uh, so, the other seat, look, it was good practice. I learned some things. Made doing this second seat so much easier. It looks mint. Like I said, a little tiny bit of shaping at the front here. And I also cut it a bit short so I couldn't restaple it at the front. Um, and that'll be... That'll be that. It's actually technically hitting on the tank, but that's cool. Tank solid. Uh, the seat solid. Man, I mean, bike's really coming together now. Especially with the rear tail cut off, it looks mint. Did I mention that I cut the rear tail off? Mm, you yeah. Took a grinder to it just to um, shorten the hoop at the rear. Uh, I sort of wanted to make something that the tail light could sit on if that's how I end up going. Maybe I'll undersling the tail, the tail light so it sits underneath. Um, and somewhere where if I wanted to I could bolt some stuff to it or put a rack or not really my style but tie stuff to I guess more so so on that note I got a bunch of little tidy up things that I'm going to do uh, in between now and the next episode things like actually putting hose clamps on these hoses that are running for the coolant changing oil and filters and things like that boring stuff that people have YouTubed about before when we come back next time It'll be time for some handlebars, uh, handlebars, headlights, uh, new mirrors, new grips, getting rid of the brush bars, and new indicators, and that'll be a story. So, thanks for hanging in with this one for me guys, um, I don't actually know if it's going to be a short or a long one because I filmed it like six different ways, but if you liked it, thumbs up, get subscribed. If you G'd up to see how this thing's coming along or how it's going to end up, drop a comment below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.